I was born in Northfield, Minnesota. Then I moved to, moved to Denison, Minnesota, and we lived in half North Dakota. Then my mother died. Then I, I uh, moved to a farm in Kenyon, Minnesota. And that's where I, I went to school at a one-room school in country school around Kenyon. Graduated from high school, joined the Marine Corps. I was a tank driver. I drove amphibian tanks. We were mostly stationed in the South Pacific, or in the Pacific Theater. That's where, you know, I was, went to boot camp, three months at tank training school at Jack's Farm uh, down in San Diego. And then we uh, went overseas and we were there until November 1945. We usually went ahead of the infantry and on the islands of Saipan, Tinian, and Iwo Jima. We uh, really went in with the different divisions. Uh, I was with the second division on Saipan, I was the fourth division on Tinian, and I was the fifth division on Iwo Jima. Well, the first thing we did was with our tank, we got our tank shot out from under us the first thing uh, on Saipan. That is, we'd been on the we'd been on the beach about oh two or three minutes, and I heard abandoned tank. I couldn't believe it, but uh, we got hit that time. Then, we, and we got hit on Tinian. We got hit on uh, Iwo Jima. The guy got. He didn't get killed, and the one on Saipan where our CP operator got killed. On Tinian, a guy got his, he got shot, an ammunition pass and got hit. Let's see, on Iwo, the loader got hit, and he wouldn't, he refused to be evacuated, so he got the Bronze Star. The most memorable day would be when they raised the flag on Iwo Jima. I wasn't, I, I was a half a mile from Mount Sarabachi. And I did not actually see them raise the flag. But there was so much gunfire and so much, uh, so much action. I turned around and I saw the flag up on the Mount Sarabachi and there it was. That is the most memorable day I think. Yeah, sure I was changed. I was, I was a dumb kid at 18, but it didn't take long, about six weeks boot camp and I changed you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, after the war I married my wife who was a high school sweetheart. She was, uh, let's see, we've been married 74 and a half years. Come again, June 27th, it'll be 74 and a half. We had six children. It's been a great life. We just, we just had a great life. We, I, uh, I had a little contracting company for 10, 12 years. And then I went to work at Senex uh, in the construction division. And uh, when I retired, we we built a home on Beaver Dam Lake, and we lived there in the summer. And I built a couple more homes in the summer there. And then we, in the winter, we had a home in Green Valley, Arizona. So we lived there. I did that for 25 years. Nice. Yeah. It's a good life. Yeah. Oh, just a great life. I can't complain. No. Freedom is freedom is not free. That's very you know that's that's kind of an old cliche, but it's so true. Yeah. It's not free.